Hello, welcome to the next re-vlog. I said that one differently to you before. That's more of a re-vlog rather than a re-vlog. Never mind! Um, both work. Uh, um, it's been a long time since I've mentioned it, but re-vlog. Re-vlog. It's a log of a reeve, says moi. And it is a re-vlog. Vlogging again doing another vlog re-vlogging re-vlog you get it you get it okay so what am i here to talk about today well um i can't remember whether it was yesterday or monday but i have a feeling it was yesterday i did a vlog that was the tuesday of this week um in that vlog i mentioned oh at the end of the work day i get like a very brief burst of energy ironically I didn't yesterday, um, and I can't remember whether it was the case that in that vlog I said uh, that it doesn't happen all the time, but relatively frequently. I don't remember. However, the case is that it doesn't happen all the time, and I figured I would mention it as a point that yesterday, absolutely kaput at the end of the day, just like, it was a trek to get home not because it was very far but it was just very difficult even the act of walking home and i got in and i went to the loo <laughs> and i sat on my bed and i sat there for a little while and just gathered the energy to do what i needed to do that evening which was emails which brings me on to the majority topic for this vlog which is work and emails most Importantly, that's that's a terrible way of phrasing it. What am I on about? Work and emails? No, it is work. It is applying for work and emails. So my current job is 40 hours a week in the office. And that's not an environment that I thrive in. Not because it's an office, but just the way that it's all set up. The... We are constantly understaffed. The radio is always on. There is inter-family bickering. There is inter-company, just like pettiness. Inter-company, intra-company, inside of the company, bickering and pettiness and squabbling and arguing and just not working together, which is what you would want from a company, etc., etc. And forty hours is a lot. Plus the our lunch break each day takes us to 45 because you can't really do anything on a lunch break. It is a lunch break. I go and eat. I eat. And that's it. I walk home. I eat. I go home. I go back to work even. Um, and then there is travelling to and from work in the morning and the afternoon. Takes us to like 50 to 60 probably hours. Probably closer to like 54 at a guess. Um... Yeah, something like that. 52, 54. Um, which is a lot. And I think that it is draining me even more than just the general fatigue. Because on the non-fatigue days, I definitely feel worse at the end of the day <laughs> than I do at the beginning. I know that's true for everyone, but I didn't have this when I worked at the gym. I could go to the gym, and even if it was a very long day like some days i would get there for opening which was half five and i would leave at like seven in the evening something like that so that's a 13 and a half hour shift more or less now there would be gaps in between clients because i would do a four hour shift for the gym then i would be then i'd have a client for an hour or two and then there'd probably be like 15 45 minutes before the next client and repeat until the end of the day Ooh. This is a process that I would do, and yeah, I'd be tired at the end of the day of being at work for 13 and a half hours. And when I wasn't working, I would either be planning, I'd get my little uh, journal out and be programming the future sessions, which is still work, or I would be exercising, working out, or recording and editing video for my Instagram, which is work for that job. Um, <laughs> that was one of the parts that I was the worst at, but whatever. Content production, in that way, I'm not very good at understanding what people want, and I'm not gonna lie 
to people and say, this exercise is going to do everything. Because it's not, there isn't one. Um, and whilst that gets views and clicks and people's interest and builds hype, it's not something that is honest. And I value the honesty. Um, so, I've been applying for other jobs. Uh, largely remote work jobs. Uh, ideally, I'm looking for some sort of admin work, I imagine, um, or email-based technical support, uh, customer service type deals. So, um, admin work, which is like data entry, processing, that sort of thing. Data comes to me, I look through the data, do something with the data, whatever it is that needs doing, and I send it off somewhere else or input it into a shared system. That would be ideal. You can do it completely remote. Ideally, it'd be on like a work laptop that they would send out. And then that laptop, whenever I open that, that's work and so on and so forth. Ideally, it would also be flexi hours, but I know I'm asking for a lot at that point. So I'll take remote work data administration. Beyond which, I've applied for some other roles because these are the ones that get sent to me. And this is the emails I had 144 to go through many of which had expired because they're about two weeks old because I usually do it on a Saturday but I just to quote um <laughs> culture didn't have the spoons for it it's not something I want to say often because it's a weird expert it's it's a strange colloquialism that I don't really understand but I, I know what it means um didn't have the energy motivation the willpower all the time really because I had other things to do when I was able to do things over the past few weekends, and this weekend as well, because the old car needs some love. Um, but yeah, the... Applications, yes. Uh, I've been applying on and off for a few weeks, month or two, maybe, I don't know. Um, just casually looking, uh, not actively chasing, because one, <laughs> that takes a lot more energy than I have. And two, it's going to put my current workplace in a bad place if I leave. Um, I'm just keeping an eye out in case there is something that is really useful, like an ideal opportunity, or is a big at least a big enough change from what I currently have that I think it will be better for my health and not result in excessive poverty. So the issue I'm having predominantly is interviews. Because for many of the roles, I've not been getting interviews. It's understandable because they've asked for experience that I do not have. Um, it's like senior data administrators. They're like, oh, this role requires five years of high level blah, blah, blah with these qualifications. And I'm like, I don't have those qualifications, but I have these qualifications and experience in this. And they're like, no, nah, sorry, we're proceeding without you. Fair enough, can't blame them for that. A lot of the times I just get to it too late. They put up the ad one day, I see about it two or three days later. It's like it gets emailed over to me on, say, the Monday. Then I don't get to look at it till the Saturday. I apply and almost immediately get back an email saying, sorry, we've moved on to the next stage. That's fair, can't complain. But now that I've had a few people contact me back saying, hey, we would like you to interview. We think you're probably a good fit for this role, but would like to interview you just to make sure, answer any questions, ask a few questions, so on for so forth. It's really difficult. As I currently work Monday to Friday from 8 till 5, people want to interview me Monday to Friday, 8 till 5. Now, 8 till 5 is broad. A lot of the times these interviewers are saying, we can do between 9 and 2 on a weekday. And I'm saying, that's a really small amount of time, considering I currently have a job that I'm, you know, maybe going to leave to come to you. Do you want to give me an incentive to do this? Because you've got to have time to book off holiday, and I can't really just tell my current employer, hey, can I have a half day because... I'm going to go and apply for another job. That's not going to go down very well, is it? Oh, yeah, so a bit of a pain. Um, but I'm hoping, 
So I've booked off the, or I'm booking off the 11th of October. So I'm hoping that I can then try and get some interviews on then, um, potentially research in the in between time a couple of companies that might be suitable um, that are locally based. So remote work data companies that I could go to their office on my day off and say, hi, I'm me, here's my CV, do you have any remote work jobs? I'm usually not really available for interviews very much, but I have the day off work, so I figured I'd come in, would I be able to speak to someone about a potential role? Because that shows that go-getter attitude that everybody wants, and also will be, you know, time efficient. <sighs> but also, I might just wait till next year. Obviously, if I get one of these roles somehow, then great. Um, one of them is a Samsung Product Distribution Center Logistics Administrator, which sounds pretty cool. I like Samsung products. Maybe I get some for free or on a discount. And it got a, like, a bonus incentive scheme. So the base salary is 25k, but you can earn up to an extra 15 if you meet targets, yada, yada, yada. I hate the meeting targets mentality, but, you know, 15 grand a year, pff, I can meet some targets, probably. Um, yeah, anyway, that was the main thing I wanted to talk about. Other than that, I'm thinking about doing some other videos for the channel. Now, I have to keep reminding myself, James, don't do more. You're doing enough. Don't do more. You'll tire yourself out, don't do more, and such. But as I'm f trying to slowly force myself into a sleeping schedule of sorts, which is really hard, um, I have decided I'm gonna need to fill that time. What can I fill that time with? I can very, very slowly do videos because physically I won't be able to do much. The foot pain that I'm experiencing these days is debilitating in its own right. Like, walking is what I would usually do as a low-effort activity to keep myself from becoming a potato uh, and just laying in bed and going to bed too early. But, especially after being at my standing desk all day at work, very difficult to remain walking and standing in the evenings and then knowing that I have to get up the stairs at the end of it, it's really hard, um, especially on those extreme fatigue days. So I'm thinking what I could do, in theory, is I can try and set up my computer at home in a slightly better way for research, recording and editing, rather than what it is at the moment, which is currently like Discord calls and gaming, because that's mostly what I do with it at the moment. Um, then I can start to slowly do things like that. And the main thing for it wouldn't be getting views on this channel because I've kind of given up on that. This is a diary at this point. Of a diary, ooh, throwback. Um, yes, but yeah, the goal would be to practice my editing skills and voice acting ability to then be able to eventually potentially get a role as a voice actor um, because I saw six to start were hiring reasonably well paid obviously I think it wouldn't be enough for a full-time position I don't think that there would be enough hours involved to be able to have that be my only source of income but it might be enough to tide over and then continue doing other side projects to drib and drab money in a little bit if I cut back on my luxuries such as tasty food and more clothing and books. Uh, so I've ordered a book, <laughs> which is one of the things that I'm thinking about doing a video on, maybe a video series on. It is something to do, which is relevant to me, the reason I ordered it. I don't know whether it's accurate, but I saw it of all places on TikTok. <laughs> Uh, someone is has done a bunch of research apparently and put it into a book on the physical parts to non-visible disabilities, such as um, 
neurodiversity things like autism, um, as well as physical things like chronic fatigue, two of which that I may have. Uh, so I was like, you know what, I'll get that, have a look into it and potentially get some work done there. But also, if it seems like it's interesting, I might be able to do like a breakdown style thing. So how to do some reading, make some notes and break it down into digestible information and put it on YouTube. Um, don't know what I'm going to do visually, but audio is the main thing that I'm going to focus on. The audio editing, the audio recording. Um, the visuals will just be for viewer enjoyment and engagement, I guess. Um, though, depending on the issue with the car, once my brother, who is a half mechanic, um, has a look at it, uh, that might be something that, if he can walk me through it, I might be able to do it on my own, at which point maybe I'll do a video on that. Um, a step-by-step -step guide of how to fix the problem that I have with the car on this car. Um, Anyway, I'm going to go. This is already over a quarter of an hour long, and I usually try and keep them like 10 to 15 minutes max. And I've got today off work because I have the dentist in the morning, which is why I'm also booking off the 11th. And the doctors this afternoon, which I have again tomorrow, but that'll be on my lunch break due to being short staffed after work. Huzzah! Um, but yeah, because I have the day off, I'm going to aim to get to my grandparents early this evening so I can leave there early so that I can do a bigger warm-up before going to Kung Fu, which will hopefully help me at Kung Fu, because my hips have been really tight and painful recently, and I think that might be related due to the fatigue. Don't know. We'll see. But yeah, so that's the plan. Um, I'm sure there were other things I was going to talk to you about, such as Relay FM's membership podcasting network. I've paid for their membership. It's like three pounds or something a month um because the creators of the podcast network uh, mike and steve um steven don't know if he likes being called steve they talk about creating podcasts and the network and stuff which is one of the reasons why i'm thinking audio recording editing shenanigans a lot in my brain at the moment is because i'm listening to that it's a little hard to access their specific section, but there's a bunch of other stuff. It's a great podcast network. I recommend checking it out. Uh, recommendation! Huzzah! Uh, otherwise, yes. Uh, hopefully I will be able to do and enjoy the recording pr and writing process and the editing process. The editing requires a lot of work. But, you know what? We'll, we'll get there. Um, and then, yeah, that's, that's currently my plan as that'll be my one of two home hobbies. Then I have my outside of home hobby, Kung Fu, uh, with the other home hobby being D&D. That'll be three hobbies. That is going to be my limit. No more, no drawing, apart from like little doodles. I'm not gonna try and schedule it in or anything like that. Health isn't a hobby. Health is part of next year's theme and this year's revised theme. Um, and so on. So yeah, it's it's a lot. I said I was going to finish this two minutes ago. I'm going to finish it now. I'll catch you cats on the flip flop. Goodbye.